um, people were getting on me about, so where's this morning's video? Um, so, um, anyway, I don't know what's going on across the way. Um, people aren't going over there as much. Um, you know, there's a, there's different reporting realities for different types of income here, you know, and, um, uh, like me, I've report, I've got very highly verified income. I pay my rent. I pay, um, you know, 30% rent plus an extra $20 for unlimited laundry, um, BYO, um, washer and dryer. And, um, but there's a lot of people here on $50 welfare rent, which means they report no income and they somehow have to scrounge up $50 every month. Those same people are spending more than $60 at least at the C store every month to buy um, a cold drink every day. So that that would be something like I could go over there anytime I want to. I just don't want to because I don't want to spend my money like that. Um, if any of these people walked into Lucky's, they'd be evicted. If any of these people walked into Sahara Mart, they'd be evicted. Because they don't have money for that. Where do they get the money? Where's that unreported income? Why didn't they go into the office and say, look, I got this extra income. But me, I've reported my income. So I haven't, I haven't done anything to get kicked out of the pantries. Some of these people have been kicked out of the pantries. Um, you know, so um, it's... You know, it's like one of those things. So I don't really know what's going on over there, but I know Sherry did this thing when she was running the store in Willette. Um, she paid the turnkey fee from God knows where and uh, moved right in. And um, then at some point she decided she didn't want to pay the uh, operations fee and um, said that she had gotten her tanks fixed. Well... I also own the company that fixes tanks. So when um, there was a fish kill and um, it turned out her tanks had not been fixed, um, there was pressure on the trust at that time to um, come forward a little more. Uh, I don't think that occurred um, because uh, I, did, I was already kicked out and um, I'm going to be here for a long time so um, you know people may be testing things all over and we didn't do this that and the other thing but um, since I'm going to be living here there's going to be a lot more coordinated um, activity regarding um, you know all the different you know Reporting is not really all that necessary. It's not required by law, but um, it can be done. And everybody does that, selective reporting. Because if you call the police and report every last thing that happens, they will stop taking your calls. I've tested that. 